Welcome to The Daily Digital. I'm Kate Murray. In today's video, I'm talking about the top five most essential plugins for your new WordPress blog or website. And even if your website isn't brand new, these five plugins will still save you lots of time and effort. The first plugin I recommend is Under Construction. This allows you to easily set up a splash page that tells anyone who happens to come to your URL that your site will be up and running very soon. It's great because you don't want people to come across your site while you're working on it because that would look really unprofessional. And there's definitely a chance that that could happen because search engines like Google pick up keywords and phrases when people are searching. So I always make sure this is the very first plugin that I enable. When installing a new plugin to your WordPress dashboard, they all work the same way. So if you don't already know this, you'll simply search for a new plugin, then click to download and install the plugin, then activate it. Visit your settings page, which you'll most often find on the left sidebar under the settings or tools menu. Sometimes you can also click directly on the settings from the plugin screen. To enable the under construction mode, all you need to do is switch the first choice to on. To get a little bit more creative, choose the second tab, and as you can see, there are a variety of different choices. To customize even further with your own logo or image, click on the third tab, and as you can see, it works just like the WordPress editor. When you're logged into your WordPress dashboard, you'll be able to view your website and work on it, but any other person surfing the web will only see your splash page until you're ready. Once your website is ready to go live, just switch the under construction mode off and don't forget to save changes. The second plugin that I think is really important is insert headers and footers. This makes it easy for you to add tracking pixels from your social media accounts or from your Google Analytics in order to measure your website data, such as how many people are visiting your site and which pages are the most visited. It works the same way as any other plugin. Simply search for it, install it, and activate it. To add your tracking information, You'll simply copy and paste the pixel from whichever social account you're tracking to the header or the footer. You can add multiple tracking pixels at the same time. The third most important plugin is Yoast SEO. If you host with GoDaddy or Bluehost, many times this plugin comes standard with your installation of the WordPress core files. Make sure it's active and as you create your pages and posts, you'll see the section under the main post to include any additional metadata. Metadata simply means the keywords and long tail keywords that you hope to rank for in the search engines. If that all sounds a little confusing, don't worry. Just make sure you have the plugin and you can come back to it later as you become more familiar with your new website and SEO. The fourth plugin is Duplicate Page. Just as the name suggests, once you've built out a page or a post in a style that you love, instead of recreating the entire thing, you can simply duplicate it and then modify the text, images, title, and metadata. This plugin is especially useful if you're creating landing pages with calls to action for a specific product or service that you sell. I remember the days when I first started using WordPress around 2007. This kind of plugin didn't even exist. It took so much time to build out each individual page, so this plugin is a huge time saver. Finally, the free version of Updraft Plus allows you to take a backup of your WordPress website. Many hosting companies charge for this service, so the fact that you can install a free plugin and do it yourself is great. It's slightly technical, but definitely doable. Be sure to tune in next time where I'll walk you through step by step how to take that backup of your website using the free version of Updraft Plus. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to click that subscribe button in the lower right hand corner of your screen so you don't miss out on the next Daily Digital.